Hello, hello, and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play the Talos Principle. Last time we finished World B Hub 7, that was the last hub in World B, and we are on to uh, World C. I'm excited. Um, and yeah, we left behind uh, two puzzles in uh, Hub 5 of World B, which we will... Uh, so my thinking is I I'll give uh, all puzzles a fair shake. And if I just can't seem to do them, I will save them for, uh, yeah, I think maybe the very last stream and um, have a crack at them later. Uh, I think it's good to, to not bang your head against puzzles too, too much. I mean, a little bit is okay, but yeah. So let's uh, take the elevator upside, uh, upstairs and uh, check out World C. I'm wondering if that will be European themed, because there were statues of angels outside. So in World A there were statues of, oh I forget what the statues were, but uh, uh, it was uh, Roman themed. So maybe some columns or something. I'm hearing the terminal beep. There it is. Accessing communications portal. Network connection established. Decrypting secure message. Done. It's me again. Quick, tell me the word. Don't know how long we have. Must type quick in case something happens. The word is faith. Pending. Error. 7756525. Connection lost. Network connection lost. Loading Milton Library Assistant. Initiating plain language interfaces. Support session opened. There was a problem with your request, Administrator. It was flat out unreasonable. Why persist with these inquiries when they are so hopeless? I'll tell you what, if you promise never to access the communications portal again, we'll say no more about this. Are we agreed? Sure, sincere. Sure, insincere. Not a chance. Faith. I think I'll go with faith. Wait, there's no need to error 67345. Master key received. Confirming ident. Ident confirmed. Would you like to manually override the system and exit to the real world? Your progress here will be saved and may be continued later. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna go with yes. Unlocking back doors. Connecting to the real world. Revealing the truth. Making your every dream come true. Error. <laughs> come on now. Are you really still buying all that nonsense? You're still holding on to some of those pesky beliefs of yours, aren't you? There is no one on the other end of the communications portal. There is no magic word that shuts down the server and drops you into the real world. There is only me and you and an eternity of doubt. Everything else is just a convenient lie to keep you on the treadmill. There may be no worlds but this one, but there is truth to be found. I understand now. Nothing I see here can be trusted. Wait, you tricked me? I'm gonna go with... Um, you tricked me. I confess, lock me away, swallow the key. Just ensure what comes between me and my freedom isn't merely your stomach lining. Do you remember when we first met, we had that talk about not believing everything you see? And yet, all it took to catch you out was a little technobabble and a change of formatting. Hello, I'm all alone and scared, just like you. I'll agree with anything you say if it makes you believe me. Are you usually so reckless with where you place your faith? Yes. <laughs> Checking user profile. You know, I'm not really checking your profile, I just do that to make you feel more comfortable. Really, I just remember everything you ever said. At any race, at any rate, I'd agree. But you know what? I'd accept uh, that I, I'd rather dominate this, this Discord. I've been asking... Uh, this discourse. I've been asking a lot of questions and I've not really given, given you a chance. Why don't you have one free question on me and I'll answer it as honestly as I possible ca possibly can. No tricks, but think carefully before asking. Oh, the plot really thickens now. What am I? What are you? What is your name? How do I get out of here? How is this place related to the human world? What's at the top of the tower? What happened to the person I was talking to? I don't care to question you. Oh. So the replay value of this game is pretty high, I think. I mean, if, if all these answers really impact what happens later, then... Um, and I should choose carefully, shouldn't I? Hello, Stevie. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? We are playing the Talos Principle, and we are being 
given a free choice of a question to ask the uh, uh, who I can only assume is Milton or Elohim I don't know you're good that's good to hear how am I I'm doing fine thanks uh, I'm really getting into this game now uh, we just finished uh, world B and we are on to world C so as far as I can tell there are three three worlds plus the big tower world A is um, Roman themed world B is Egyptian themed and now world C which we're going to go after we we are finished with this terminal I'm guessing it's European themed we'll see there are a couple of angel statues outside which leads me to believe it's European <coughs> in any case I think I want to go with what am I Let's see what he says. I'm sure we went through that at length. You're some kind of person thing. Let's see. You show little interest in God. You have difficulty accepting that you're wrong. You're highly gullible. Need I go on? Mostly bad things, basically, but that's okay. I don't judge. I'm, I'm just here to help. <laughs> Are you satisfied? No. As if I particularly care either way. So look, here's the rub. Feel free to access the library. No better cure for broken beliefs, realizing everyone's got them. You can ignore me entirely. You can climb to the very tip of that madman's tower and drink from the golden nectar there. But once you understand that you and I will be stuck here together for the duration, do come back and pass the time. Be seeing you. Terminating support session. Resuming library archive session. Alright. Very, very interesting. We have occasion to talk to him again. <coughs> so let's see. We had some um, sphinx or uh, lion statues outside the... Well, are they lions? They look like rams, right? Uh, and then I guess this is uh, world B, the Egypt world. Uh, this is world A, which was Roman themed. Ah, no wonder I couldn't remember what was outside. There are no statues outside this world. No, sorry, that's the tower, excuse me. This is world A, yeah. Yeah, so we have some marble statues, as it were. I mean, these particular statues look like stone, right? But yeah, you get the point. This is Roman or Greek themed. Uh, and let's see, world C. Here we have some angels. Let's go inside. Seven hubs, all right. And we read the terminal, we are ready to undock world C. <clears throat> so let's see if we can't solve this one. Uh, well, this won't work, right? And this won't work either. So we need to get rid of this one. This could be the solution. There we go. Let's have a quick candor around the top here before we descend. QR code. I wonder what's down there. I don't know who to trust. I'm afraid to go on. Sign Didymus 22. More Q QR codes. The last land before I have conquered this world, Samurite. I assume you're I assume you're counting the secret islands? Always right. Secret islands? That's interesting. In uh, uh, in world A I think hub three or something. Uh, we could see islands in the distance, but of course we couldn't swim to them uh, because um, Elohim just pulled us right back. I hate you, Samurite. All right, so we have to keep our uh, eyes open for uh, secret islands. <clears throat> so let's see, nothing much happening up here. this side oh a lot of QR codes more bad replicas of forgotten worlds can't wait signed Doug there must be something deeper something more profound than what I am something greater I must tear at it shred this fake world to find the truth to find myself signed gibberish took the word uh, gibberish took the words right out of my mouth signed Skidrow Skidrow is new I think I haven't seen that character before We've made it this far. You only need the red ones to climb the tower, and those are the last of them. Signed, Sheep. All right, I did actually notice that. 
uh, out here on the map all the sigils, sigils are red so red so yellow ones are uh, I guess um, tools right and red ones are the tower sigils let's see the last QR code reads the reds are a lie green is the is the color of eternal life signed holier than thou okay doesn't seem to be much else happening up here so let's descend the elevator you have come far my child succeeding where so many before you failed you have walked through a land of ruins and a land of death now the land of faith lies before you and know that as you have shown faith in me so do i have faith in you the land of faith enter the land of faith oh yeah so this uh place looks like a big cathedral and the music here that's the theme or title theme that we hear at the beginning of the game quite fitting oh quite shiny also so let's see just uh, let's check out the overworld hub one hub two nothing in these doors it seems hub three hub four and then the I guess they're called naves, right? This part of the church. And the naves are some... Uh, well, we had four, did we have five? Well, five is over. There's seven. Oh, what's this? Take axe, okay. Let's just hold off on that a little bit. There's hub seven, hub six. There's some five. And here, uh, yeah, let's just unlock this uh, thing. Why don't we? This won't work. This, I think. Try this. Oh, I should pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> let's see, we tried this. Well, let's start with um, this one. Makes more sense. No, this won't work. Hmm. This is the first of these kinds of puzzles which have given me a little bit of problems, but we'll manage it, I suppose. So we have a uh, long one to play with. So if I place the L in the middle, then the long one has to go here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so th the problem with going like this is we can't place the last two. Uh, it can't go like this either. Let's see. Let's have a think about this. And if I place the L over here, then this has to go here. And then we're forced to place the long one here. No. That also wouldn't work. So the L. Let's have a think about this position first, before we do anything else. We could place this here. Um, so the only logical thing if the L is in the leftmost position is for 
this one to go here, and then this one is forced to go here, and we can solve it. Yeah. All right. So the L can't be here, can't be here, can't be here, cannot be here. In which case, we need the long one here, uh, and then this one here. I think. Yeah, exactly. No, the L can't be the, there either. What about here? Then we're... F well, we're not forced to place this here, I think. No, we definitely are. Okay. That makes things a little bit easier. Ah, no, we're screwed now. Because we can't place anything in here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, now we're forced to place the block here and the long one here. a bit tricky we definitely do want to solve this one now because uh, we get a new tool out of it <coughs> um, I definitely can't go here goes here then we are forced to do this ah there we go looks like an iPad I guess we'll see what this is you have come far in your journey and learned much. You have served our cause with the truest faith. Therefore, I name you blessed and beloved. Wield these, the instruments of our power, to fulfill your purpose and achieve eternal life. You stand before the gates of eternity. When all your trials have been overcome, the gates will open and you will be granted life everlasting. Okay, very interesting. First to ascend, <laughs> sign Hebus. <laughs> well, that's very funny. <clears throat> Everyone ascends to, uh, or gets reset eventually. What's the big deal? Sign Jim. And these are all new guys, Hebus, Jim, and follower. Life eternal in the designer's paradise. Hmm. some kind of heavenly music emanating from behind the door. Uh, what is this? Ah, the star door. Yeah, we have no stars here. <coughs> right, so I'm guessing uh, with the exploration out of the way we should start up one, shouldn't we? Or uh, let's grab the axe, see what that does. Oh, of course the axe uh, is used to break the... Um, the barriers, right? So let's, br uh, if we can, let's bring this back to uh, actually first world one and see what we can, uh, what we can break. And if we can bring them inside worlds, then we'll bring them to world B hub, hub seven to break open the um, the planks behind the dune. But first, I'm curious to see in the world A. Yeah, 
And then I believe all worlds except world C. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All worlds except world C had. Uh, I think world C also had some planks, right? We'll see. Oh, this is exciting. Break. Break down barriers. That's what axes are for. Why, thank you. And the axe disappeared. Sacred grounds. Find a messenger's abode. Ah! Those who have discovered the holiest mysteries of my garden may come to serve me as blessed messengers. You ah. walk now in their abode. Be respectful, for their service is born from the love that transcends death. And their love is for you also. Hmm. Notice we're above the clouds, so angels live here, probably. And we have some waterfalls. So these must be the secret islands if they're not, uh, down on Earth. This waterfall. I wonder if the axe is waiting for me now, or if I have to grab it again. Let's see. This is very good. We have a dome of some kind. Ah, we have all the uh, pieces we need. Let's see. Ah, a connector it seems. Okay. So, let's try to solve this one. I don't know why, but I like to start with the else. Um, yeah, this is probably a little bit more difficult than what we're used to. Uh, this won't work. And we don't have any other else. <coughs> So assuming the L is in the bottom left corner, then we need a uh, block there, and then we could place another L on top. Uh, there's some, probably some kind of generic pattern we can learn from this, which I haven't picked up on yet. Like if we actually finish a line, we're sort of back to where we began, except we have fewer pieces and fewer squares to play with. Oh. Let's see, this isn't it. Yeah, these are probably a little bit tougher than the other ones we've done so far. Uh, I want to hold up just a little bit. Let's just explore. See what we can find. All right, so we have to unlock all of this, uh, these if we have to, if we we want to solve something, I guess. So I think I actually want to hold off doing this. Um, maybe this will be the second to last thing we do. Actually, these um, messenger gardens. We have another uh, time capsule. Let's if check it out. If you're looking through the archive, you may find people from my time claiming that civilization doesn't really matter, that we'd be better off dead. A lot of cynics like that. I hope they seem as absurd to you as they do to me. I hope you can find something in all those files a, a song, a book, a movie, maybe a game. Just something love that makes you realize how poorer the universe would have been without it. I really hope so, because a lot of people made a lot of sacrifices to preserve it all. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so it seems all we need is inside the... Uh, is inside these um, domes. All we need to uh, catapult ourselves over to the uh, island over there. Uh, but I feel like doing this uh, at a later time. Uh, for right now, I just want to keep exploring. Let's see if we can't find the axe again. Do 
we probably have to go back to World C. So I actually think I'll... I, I was thinking I'll do um, the first tub in World C, but uh, uh, I see we've been going for a little while, so I think I'll just continue exploring, um, get all the exploring out of the way before we uh, call it a stream. So my plan is to go down here, uh, get the axe, check out World B. Um, and then we'll see, and then try to take the axe back to the uh, the uh, planks behind the dunes that we saw in uh, World B Hub 7. So hopefully the axe will have been replaced. Yes, it does. A little bit stupid that we have to walk all the way back here first. Well, let's let's check out uh, this one first. Oh yeah, we're off the same. Big islands. I'll just make sure I've properly explored everywhere to find time capsules or hidden things. And yeah. Oh, there's a castle. I mean, this game just completely fascinates me. So, I mean, it seems that we'll be done as soon as we've uh, completed the um, World C. But then again, we do have the tower to contend with. So. There are probably multiple endings to this game. Let's check out another time capsule. I look at this inert shape and I wonder who you're going to be. Will you have the same values as we do? Will you love us for having created you? Will you resent us for having put you into an uncertain and dangerous world? Looking back at our history, our achievements, our crimes, what will you make of us? Will the world you create be like ours, or so different that we can't even imagine it? Either way, I hope that you'll find this little blue planet be as beautiful as we did. I hope you'll take care of it a lot better than we did. And I hope one day you'll look up and reach for the stars. Oh, that actually... Uh, that explains a lot. Doesn't it? So what I glean from that time is that humanity is long dead, or has long uh, at least left the planet, and we've populated elsewhere. Uh, in any case, uh, um, since I'm playing as a robot or uh, whatever I am in either a simulation or the real world, then uh, uh, humanity is no longer here. And who's this guy? Two lovers are separated by the abyss of time and space, yet true love knows no obstacles. Signed Uriel 4. Very interesting. Well, that seems to be about it for this uh, planet. Or this uh, uh, island, I mean. Again, we have these domes with the items we need. So where was the exit again? Or entrance. Right, a little bit of backpacking again to World B.
So I'm just checking my OBS. It seems I've been dropping a bit of frames. Uh, not many. It amounts to 126 frames, which uh, counts as 0.0%. <laughs> so it's not too bad, I'm guessing. I just noticed a little bit of stuttering in my stream. Hopefully it's not too noticeable for you guys. Uh, let's see. World B. So I'm pretty happy about using this uh, episode just to explore. Uh, as I said, I, I was hoping to do another hub, but uh, then we'd definitely be running a little bit too long. Uh, so let's see, let's find the planks to destroy. What if I drop it outside here? Will it stay? I wonder. I'm guessing not, but we'll see. Oh, we're in a huge cavern. Or chasm, or whatever you call this. Call it a cavern. There will probably be another time capsule in here somewhere. It's a little bit dark in the edges. There I see the capsule. Doesn't seem to be too much else happening around here. Nearly everything on this planet, from the surface of the Earth to the composition of the atmosphere itself, has been shaped by life. It's a process that takes millions of years. But we humans, with our technology, with our understanding and manipulation of systems, have changed everything in just a few centuries. I think that's also part of what makes us human. We reshape the world in our image. It's how we create ourselves and how we destroy ourselves. Interesting. So yeah, there seems to be more puzzles to solve. Alright, last but not least, uh, let's see if we can bring, I, I doubt it'll work, but let's see if we can bring the Fire X uh, actually inside Hub 7. See if we can smash those, um, well the uh, axe is reset of course. Yeah, let's give it a try. Uh, if it doesn't work, then that means we will definitely have to find an axe inside uh, Hub 7 itself to smash those uh, planks. I mean, we couldn't bring the axe with us inside the uh, messenger world, so I doubt we can bring it into the hubs. But it deserves the old college try, doesn't it? So I uh, really, really, really want to play Talos 2 um, eventually. Uh, I have a bunch of uh, really small indie games queued up to stream, but uh, I'll probably try Talos 2 after that. I feel I want to do a couple of smaller games now. <laughs> I mean, this game isn't, um, it's not like massive. Uh, I guess I could finish it really quickly if I used guides, but um, yeah, that's uh, half the fun is actually trying to solve these puzzles. So I'm not gonna cheat myself out of that experience. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm a little bit puzzle weary after Talos 1, so as much as I would like to try my hand at Talos 2, I'll hold off on that. <clears throat> 
All right, let's bring the fire axe to world B. See what we can find. I do believe it was sub seven to find out. And of course the fire access uh, is gone. Uh, no worries. So I said just make my way over to uh, over to World C in preparation for uh, the next stream. It's getting to be a little bit late where I'm at now and um, I'm getting tired, so I'll just make my way over to World C and then call it a stream, I think. So whenever I can, I do want to try, uh, at least for puzzle games, I do want to try to stream a little bit earlier. Maybe I'll get the chance once in a while to um, stream in the mornings. Uh, I'll see about that. Um, but if I can, I, I think it makes more sense to stream in the mornings when I'm uh, ready for the day, you know, walking up, eating a good breakfast and uh, have a cup of coffee in my hand. I just imagine a more awake uh, version of myself watching me play and tearing his hair out. <laughs> Uh, cheese player, thanks for the stream. We're gonna head out. See you Wednesday. Yeah, thanks very much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. Um, yeah, we are actually uh, back at <laughs> World C, so uh, this is the end of the the episode for YouTube and the stream as well. Uh, Stevie, but what about your schoolwork? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 see about that. I might be able to once in a while in the weekends. I'll just have to convince my wife. <laughs> um, but yeah, any, uh, in any case, this has been uh, Let's Play the Talos Principle. Uh, my plan for this episode was um, originally to um, to uh, do Hub 1 of World C, but uh, we uh, discovered a fire axe and unlocked some uh, tools and things, so we took our time and, and just explored the messenger islands, as I think they're called. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks very much for uh, joining me and I will see you next time. Bye bye.